Uh, Kevin, what's the difference between running a team with a star as your best player versus running a team with a superstar as your best player? And, and how would you define God. the difference between the two? I'm not even sure how to answer that, to be <laughs> honest with you. You know, I, I feel like Victor last year was a star and is becoming this superstar. And, um, you know, we've talked a lot about it already in that one player on one team can make a huge difference. You know, the iconic players of the past, Larry came into the Celtics and completely changed that team. Not, not that they weren't good before, but completely changed them for a decade. Magic, same thing. Michael, the same thing. Um, that star player or superstar player uh, means everything to the team because it's, you know, we, we talk about, you know, the good ones can do for themselves, the great ones can do for everybody else. And we all are just dying and searching who is that player that is great for themselves but also make everybody else. There is no doubt about it for me that Victor came in to the Indiana Pacers and changed our whole organization. Um, He's the most positive person. I remember there was a time during this past year where we lost five games in a row, and it was sort of the, the season's on a little bit of a tilt. We didn't know whether we were going to make the playoffs or not. And he was in there. He's the first guy in there. And I, I went up to him. I said, so, you know, are we okay? How are we doing? How do you feel? And he, he looked at me like I was crazy. Like, oh, my God, we're fine. We're going to make the playoffs. No big deal. But his positivity... We, we sort of, everything trickles down from him, you know? Our organization trickles down from your best player. And if, if he's a good person or a superstar and he can make everybody great, um, that's what we're all looking for. Well, when your mind elevates a star player into a superstar? Uh, it's it's that, that ability, you know, like to, to control everything on the court. And this is what Kevin has said is, is it's mostly elevating other guys i think you know like because you have that ability to be that superstar uh, you can control a game you can take over a game and in the league there are, there are those caliber players the lebrons the stephs the uh, kevin durant's those kind of guys that and then there are younger guys like you talk about victor or uh, these guys are emerging you know like mm -hmm. to be those kind of players and um, uh, for me, it's that performance of making people better and uh, along with taking over the game. That's where the game is going. It's just the way I see it now. But they are those very, very high level guys that, you know, um, they just do it naturally. That's, that's what they do. Mitch, you've worked with so many superstar players during the, the run with the Lakers over the years. How, how much input do you want from those types of guys in terms of the roster and who plays around them? Well, the superstars, you know, can, can go both ways. If, if you've got one that could, because they, they can't control the franchise if they wanted to. You know, at some point they realize that, you know, they've got a lot of power. And whether it's, you know, people that tell them that or it's their representatives or they just realize it. Uh, so to have a superstar that, that understands that but, but yet understands that, you know, what it takes to, to win this league, to get in the playoffs, because they could only become the superstars that they want to become, you know, if they get in the playoffs and they advance in the playoffs and they win championships. There are a lot of good players in this league that are in other cities that are really, really good, but they can't get to that next level because they haven't won in the playoffs. So, so to me, to get that guy uh, that, that, that has the ability to be a superstar, he gets it. He gets that he has the power to do almost whatever he wants to do, but, but chooses not to do it and uh, doesn't try to control the general manager or the president's or the owner's decisions. Uh, certainly, you know, you're going to confer from time to time with your superstar because when they feel included, it's different. They feel vested in the organization. Uh, they, they might help recruit. Recruiting today is huge. Uh, so if you can have a, super par, a superstar that, that gets it, th then, then that's the best. But, but they're not all that way either.